In this video, we're talking about the Elgato Stream Deck Plus and the Wave DX microphone as a pair. I've been using this for over a month now, and it's not a new product. It's been out for a while, so I didn't want to do like a product review. I wanted to show you my real life use case scenarios for a device like this, because it's not just for streamers. So number one is home automations. This is really, really useful for controlling smart lights, smart plugs, and other home automations that are integrated directly to the Stream Deck Plus. Things like Philips Hue are actually built in as a plugin with the Stream Deck Plus. And you've also got apps like Govee that you can download, and you've got their own proprietary accessories like the mini key light that I'm using over there and I can control it directly from the Stream Deck Plus. So I can show you what I mean. I can turn it on. I can also adjust the brightness down or up. I've got it about 40-40% at the moment. Um, it's, it's really really powerful and then I can also change the color temperature so I'm having it set on 5500 which is how I have all of my studio lights set on so it sort of balances the camera if you like. So you've got Elgato's own accessories that work seamlessly with the device. So you've also got things like Philips Hue. I've got a plug down there, a smart plug, which I can turn on. So I've got my key light in the background there. I can turn that on by simply pressing a button. It turns the plug on, the key light comes on, so I'm ready to shoot over there for YouTube videos and other things that I do in this studio. I can, of course, turn it off as well. So that's a smart plug. Govee wall lights I've got all around my studio here, which are beautiful, beautiful lights. And they've got an app you just download. Um, so you can like drag and drop controls directly into the Stream Deck controller, program it however you want to do. So there's things like the wall light I can turn off. So that wall light turns off. I can turn the wall light back on and I can set different buttons for the percentage or how bright I want them and stuff. There's a lot of things you can do with this. So smart home controlling, smart home automations is something that is really, really intuitive, especially with these dials on here because I don't have to press a button. I can press the dial, which is linked to the light on, say, the key light, for instance. So if I press that dial, it turns the key light on as well. I turn it on and I can turn the brightness up and down. So it's not just a dial, it's also a physical button. So having the dials, having the touch screen, and having these buttons on the Stream Deck Plus for home automations is my first thing I absolutely love about this device. So the next thing might be quite simple, but it saves so much time. On here, I, I mean, I get a lot of emails every day and messages from Amazon sellers from YouTube, and I have to reply to those emails because it's only me. I'm still working on my own. So basically what I do is I set up a text automated reply. So what you do here, you can just drag um, if I swipe to where the text automations are, I've got them all set up here with different Amazon inquiries sending my shipping address because that takes time to type out. So if all I can do now is just by pressing a button, it lists my shipping address. So all I do here is I text, drag a text over there. I give it a name, so um, reply for instance, and then I type whatever text I want the text to say. And then with the push of a button, it simply writes out the text, whatever I want to write. And then you can actually press enter after message as well. So you can reply to messages like this way and it sends a message straight away. It's, it's really, really easy. And it saves me a bunch of time when replying to emails, messages, Facebook messages, 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 WhatsApp messages. I've got a bunch of automated replies set up straight away to go. Press a button, it replies, sends it. I don't have to type out my shipping address every single time. Number three isn't live streaming, but I do use this for recording like I'm doing for this particular video. It's easy just to set this up. I've got the Wave DX microphone connected to the computer. I've got my Obsbot camera over there and I've got the lights and everything. I can just press record on OBS. And obviously you can have controls, you can have everything. OBS is sort of built in to the Stream Deck uh, software. So you can press record, you can change scenes, you can do all sorts of stuff, add graphics if you want to, but it just makes everything seamless. It's makes my productivity higher because it's quicker to set up and easy to use. I can press record with a click of a button. I don't have to necessarily go into the Obsbot software and, and press record and make sure the settings are all done. Just have to turn everything on, press record, and I'm recording a video to you now like this as I am for this video. It's simple, it's easy, and it just helps my productivity so, so much. 
Okay, the next thing I'm using the controls for is controlling my OBSBOT camera. You've got an OBSBOT app that you can download, a profile that it puts onto the Stream Deck. It works really well. And then you can control different uh, presets, for instance. I've got that preset. I've got this preset for like a desk view that I was doing for a video on this arm. And then the main preset. So at a touch of a button, I can move this. I can actually turn on gesture control. I can change the brightness. I can actually snooze the camera if I want to with a press of a button and then press it back on to wake up like so. Um, you can also zoom in with the dials. Ooh, that's scary. But you can zoom in with this dial like so. I can change the EV value up if I want the brightness down or up a little bit. We can we can do that. We can also change contrast. I can control the manual focus from here as well with these dials. So there's an app, there's a profile that you can download for OBSBOT. Now, the OBSBOT camera I really do like. I wish the Insta360 had a similar thing for their link cameras because I just think the quality of the link camera is just slightly better. But the OBSBOT cameras are still great and I'm using it because it's got this built-in profile that I can use with just simple touches of a button with the Stream Deck Plus. So I'm using this camera. The OBSBOT have got a bit of an advantage there when it comes to you know, the seamless workflow that we've got here because they've got that built in with Stream Deck. So that's another thing I control my Stream Deck OBSBOT Tiny 2 over here with the Stream Deck Plus, just with the touches of a button. It's so, so simple. Now, the last one is a bit of a learning curve, but there is actually profiles and things you can buy from the Elgato store. Now, profiles are full setups for different pages and buttons and everything's customized for you that you can buy from the store and it's set up on there. So you can select the profile up on the Stream Deck. I've got my default uh, profile, which is the one I've set up personally, the way I like it. But if I go to Final Cut here, I can control all of my Final Cut stuff from this so I can edit using the Stream Deck Plus. This is, I think it's about £22 to buy off the Elgato store. I'll show you the store in just a second. But it gives you different buttons like import media. There's also different views. There's color grading effects. There's VR effects. And I can control everything from the Stream Deck. I can basically edit using the Stream Deck. It's a bit of a learning curve. There's a lot going on there. It's very, very detailed. So if you want to download it, buy it and learn how to use it, I'm guessing that it will be a lot easier once you've learned it and a lot more streamlined. I've played with it a little bit, but I found it just a bit too much of a learning curve for me to use every single day. I've got my keyboard shortcuts that I'm so used to using, but it's another amazing thing that you can do with this. Let me just show you the Elgato store. And you've got all these different things. So we've got plugins that you can download. These are This is where I've downloaded the OBSBOT profile. You've got things like Streamlabs, Teams, IFTT as well. Then we've got profiles. So if we go back to the home, we've got profiles here. And these are the profiles I do. So you've got profiles for not only Final Cut, you've got profiles for Zoom, Google Chrome, Notion, which is a new one, which is really good for note taking. You've got Swift, uh, you've got Hell Diving, you've got F Stealth Fighter, Flight Sim, Microsoft Flight Sim, you've got CapCut, Canva, DaVinci Resolve, Logic Pro, Final Cut, which is the one I bought. So it's, yeah, 26 98 So they're not cheap but they are extremely, extremely detailed. If you're a flight, uh, Microsoft Flight kind of guy, then let me just show you exactly what you get in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can see all the different things, all these 1,093 icons included with this profile, which is incredible. So there's lots of things you can do. There's lots of things you could purchase. They do cost extra money, but if you are doing something like editing, for instance, or you're a real enthusiast for Microsoft Flight Simulator Pro, then these things would come in extremely useful. So those are just some of the things I've been using the Stream Deck Plus for over the last few weeks. I found it really, really intuitive and easy to use, and it really has changed the way that I work in this studio environment. I've been very, very impressed with it. So if you do want to grab one, there'll be a link in the description down below. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video. It's just my honest opinion about using this over the last few weeks or so. 
fantastic product fully recommend it okay um also the whole video has been recorded with the stream deck pressing the buttons on obs with the wave dx microphone with their pro arm i'm gonna be doing another video on this coming soon because i think it's a real rival to some of the best microphones out there for a studio environment for podcasting for live streaming it's absolutely exceptional so make sure you subscribe stay tuned for that video coming really soon appreciate it if you like this video check out this one here and youtube thinks you might like that one and if you're gonna click that one I'll see you over there. Bye, guys.